Hey students, how are you? What's up? Today I want to talk about be going to. Be going to. Let's look at a very common question. Are you ready? What are you going to do this weekend? What are you going to do this weekend? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to visit my grandmother this weekend. Be going to is used for future plans. Future plans. A lot of my students say, well, Joey, what about will? What about will? Well, native speakers, myself, English speaker, we prefer to use be going to, to talk about future plans. Now, when we are making this plan, it happens in the past. We thought about this plan, and at the time of speaking, we're using be going to, to talk about this future plan. So, you must think about this plan in the past. You decide, they're like, I'm going to my grandma's house. It's going to happen. At the time of speaking, your friend says, hey, what are you going to do this weekend? I'm going to visit my grandmother this weekend. Now, two things in the sentence that can help us understand the future meaning. Number one, be going to. We talked about this. It's a future plan. Number two is this word, this weekend. This weekend is a future time expression. We have more future time expressions. Can you think of any? Hmm. Hmm. Let's take a look at some more. Later today, tonight, tomorrow morning, next weekend, this summer, next year, in 2023, all of these expressions tell us it's about the future. So, two things to remember. Be going to, it's a future plan, and we can see future time expressions to talk about when in the future. Pronunciation. Sometimes when Americans or native speakers are using be going to, it sounds really fast, and students are, oh my God, I don't understand. It's really fast. Well, this is what we're doing with the pronunciation. Where you see the circles is where we put our stress, where it's a louder word. For example, let, let's do this one together. Number one, what are you going to do later? What are you going to do later? You try. Pretty good. Number two. I'm going to cook dinner tonight. I'm going to cook dinner tonight. Ooh, sounds good. Perfect. Number three. We aren't going to travel this year. We aren't going to travel this year. Your turn. I like it. I like it. Last one, number four. She's going to be late. She's going to be late. This last question. What are you going to do later? A native speaker is not going to say it very slow. What are you going to do later? It comes out faster. Like, what are you going to do later? What are you going to do later? What are becomes what a, what a, then we have you, what are you, going to becomes gonna, going to becomes gonna, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do later, what are you gonna do later, try it, you can do it, try it. Ooh, I know it's a little tricky. It's a little tricky with your tongue, but keep practicing. It will get better. 
So remember, going to means gonna. What are you? What are you? What are you gonna do later? Don't forget to like, share, and follow. I will put a link in the description for group classes that I do online. Please come and join us. Let's practice English. Let's improve your English. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a terrific day. You.